Alright guys, so I'm going to take y'all into how I make my reaction videos. I'm going to teach y'all how I edit it, what program I use, what effects and everything I do. I do it real fast. I perfected it to a point where I can do it real fast. And I'm not really the best at tutorial videos, but I'm going to try to get in detail for you guys. You know, I like I explain things where, where it's simple for people to understand. Well, first off, this is what I do. I set up my lights, this light, that light, right? And then put up the green screen behind me. I make sure the green screen is well lit, you feel me? So that way, you see like my shadow, all right, you see, you don't see no shadow now, right? If I get too close to the green screen, you'll see a shadow. You don't want that, you don't want that, you wanna be like as far away from the green screen as possible. Usually, you can have a backlight to give you that outline and all that. But as of now, I don't have a backlight and I don't have a key light. I usually use like this little light that I got. You can just turn it on right here and you'll see the difference. Use this light right here. You see, it brightens me up a little bit more. You can see, I can turn it up a little bit more too. Feel me? Now you see me a little bit more clear but anyways anybody any company that's out there that want to sponsor me and send me a key light or 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 a better green screen elgato for example i was I, I, I always wanted to get an elgato green screen so if you guys want to sponsor me you guys can send it to me i'll do a review on it and everything and i'll i'll let my viewers know you know to go check out your product you know what i'm saying right now i need a i need a mic i need a mic because right now i'm using like just raw straight out of the camera audio so if you guys any company got a mic y'all guys want to sponsor me you know i'm here man but anyway i'm gonna show y'all how how i do this the whole process and everything so Right now, y'all seen I got the two lights and the, the green screen already. Feel me? I got the camera and I got it on the Joby, um, the the little tripod thing or whatever. I forgot what it's called. You know the the Gorilla Grip shit. The shit you could bend in. I don't remember the name of that shit. But anyway, <laughs> you feel me? Um, we gonna get straight in the final cut, and I'm gonna show y'all the process that I do in final. Cut. All right, guys, so now we're in Final Cut. This is how I usually do it. And um, excuse me if you hear any noise or anything because I'm, I'm screen recording. I'm re um, This is being recorded by my um, uh, my mic that's on my laptop. So if you hear any noise or anything like that, just, you know, look past it. All right, so this is what I usually do. Okay, this is my, this is my, my main clip right here with the green screen or whatnot. And this is the screen recording of the music video. All right, this music video is Busy Banks Quarantine Freestyle. All right, so this is what I do. I take this, highlight it, and drag it down. All right, this right here is my intro. This is my intro, right? So I drag it after my intro to make it a little bigger. And then I clip this right here to like where I start talking to the, okay, YouTube, that part right there. Okay, YouTube. Right? And then I go to the end, so that way I don't have to do this this after. Do the <coughs> see the bow? I just cut. Feel me? <coughs> I just cut to the bow, the end of the bow. So after, right after the bow, the intro just comes straight on. All right. And so, like, uh, if you do have final cut, you should basically know the basics already. All right. So I take this so the song. And then I drag it on top, right? You see the sound waves? This right here is the sound waves, right? Everybody know what the sound wave is, you feel me? But, you know, sometimes you having people that is a little bit slow, so you got to repeat stuff and explain shit that don't need to be explained. But anyway, boom. I drag this, and I match them up together. Then I play it. 
to make sure I hear no echo or no extra sound, right? Boom. To me, it sounds good, but I like to zoom in a little bit more to make sure. See that right there, that little piece? If I can get this top one to go back a little bit, sometimes it won't let you. It might go back too far. See, like that. Let me see. All right, it doesn't sound off to me. It doesn't sound off, right? So then I make it back smaller, zoom back out, and this is what I do. I take the sound from this and turn it all the way off, all the way off. Then I click right here, boom, right? Go to video, and then I scale this down all the way till, like, I like the size, you know? No homo, pause, 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 I was, whoa. Whoa, I put behave yourself. Right? Okay, so I put it like right there. Boom. I like what it says. Alright, can see myself good. And then I go over here and I grab the key. -er. I just type in type in key and it's gonna come up. Then I drag and drop the key -er onto this clip. Alright, perfect example. I'm happy I'm actually happy this happened. So I can show y'all. All right, boom. See, it didn't key out. It's supposed to automatically key out the green screen. When this happens, this is what I do. I highlight this, then I click this over here, right? Then I click the part of the screen that's green, and I, and I drag. See, there it goes. It's black. But I like to drag it down all the way till. Don't make it touch. Don't make it touch you in the video because then it's gonna you're gonna mess up the whole effect. All right. See now everything is black basically. All right, after I do this now, I go on a video, yeah, I skim through, skim through. All right, I like this part right here, right? Boom. Say I like this part right here. So what I do, I copy and paste this. I mean, I take a screenshot of it. For y'all who don't know how to screenshot on a MacBook, it's Command-Shift-4. All right. So I copy and paste that. Then I go to my home screen. Find it, drag it in here, boom, right? All right, so now I drag it out, boom. See, now it's behind me, right? But I want it to go through the entire video. So I drag it out some more. I don't even do, do tutorials, so this is like my first ever time doing a tutorial. This isn't my thing. But I know a lot of people once want to do reaction videos and just don't know how. They might have the program, just don't know how to do it. So I'm going to show y'all because I think there's enough money for everybody. And everybody can get it. It's not it's not, it's not, not an only me thing. Like, oh, yeah, I want to be the only YouTuber that knows how to do this. I, I do want my shit to look different from everybody else. But if I show you this way, maybe you might know how to finesse and end up Creating your own way and have it looking like, you know, something that, that you created, basically. You don't have to follow my exact formula. You can switch it up a little bit. But anyway, this is what I do to get the green screen and everything clear. I do it fast because I'm I'm used to it, you feel me? But you see over here, this rendering bar. It's because I'm working so fast, it's taking long to render because a lot of things is happening at once. It's This is like a routine for me. So I memorize everything I got to do in order, you feel me? And this is how I make my thumbnails. All right. All right, let's say I scroll through the video. Uh, let me see. Right. Let's say right here. I don't. I don't really be giving a shit. To tell you the truth, when it comes to thumbnails, because everybody know up ain't on no pretty boy shit. I don't really care. My thumbnails be having me with the weird face sometimes. I don't give a shit. But anyway, boom, I create a freeze frame, right? After I create the freeze frame, I take it and put it at the end. At the end. Right? I don't know why this shit doing it like that, but anyway. 
You don't want it to have no gray ball. What the fuck you give me the gray ball for? Anyway, take out the gray ball. All right. I'm not even supposed to be cursing and shit. This is how you know that I don't really do this tutorial stuff. I try to keep it as real on YouTube as possible. All right, that's how I make my thumbnail now. I know a lot of people be trying to make thumbnails like everybody else but don't know how to do it. But this is how I do it on this program. And for you who want to buy this program, it's like I think the program costs like $300. I don't remember. I think I paid like $300. I had the program for a little while. So it's like $300 on the iTunes store. Anyway, boom, this is what I do. I go in here, color inspector. I go to exposure. Turn this ball all the way up. You see the line already came there behind me? All right. Then look, I turn it all the way up. See the line a little bit more harsh, right? Kind of killed, kind of killed that little line light that was coming on the the background just now. Anyways, so after I do this now, right? You see the line came. Then I go back to the video inspector and I scale this up. So I make the backdrop one a little bit bigger. Click this. Move it around till you know I'm satisfied. Right, this is cool. I don't be liking it to be too extra. This is cool. See, I got the outline. Now what I do is I go to go grab the color board. I drag it on here. Boom. After I drag the color board on here, now I go back to the inspector again. But this time I go to color. Right? Now I take this. Let's say I move it up to the green or whatever. Then I take this one, move it around. Feel me? All right. So I want it to be yellow. There it go. Back of me is yellow now. Feel me? There's other ways you can do it without having to pull both of these up, but I do it like that because I like the. It, it gives me a different type of brightness, and it gives me that little effect on a do rag sometimes. It make my do rag look two tone. I like that. It's cool. It, it's it's a different element, you know. So after I do this now, right? I go to the video again. Let's say, uh, I like I like finding bright parts of the video that stand out, like that's really light. You feel me? Uh, but this video isn't so bright. The video isn't so. It doesn't have a lot of colors. All right, let's say I take this part right here. Take this part. Just for this. To, I use this one. I don't know where the other one just went, but I use this one. It don't matter. Tutorial, tutorial sake. All right, screenshot that. Right, boom. Let that go. Move off the screen. All right, boom. Should be over there somewhere. All right, there you go. I take that and I drag it in there. Right, boom. Matter of fact, let me make another screenshot so that way I don't have to. Do it another time, make it easier for me. Make this tutorial be a lot easier. I don't really care. I use anything for this part. I don't really give a shit. Anyway, take this, screenshot that bomb. There you go. Another screenshot, right? But in the meantime, I'm gonna drag this one under here, right? So there it goes. It's behind me now. You see that? Easy. Quick, 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 quick. All right? There it go. Then I go back in to my desktop and find the other one. Good thing I don't have no corner shit on my desktop, so ain't nothing here. I need to hide on my desktop. <laughs> Anyways. All right, so now this one, I take it and I put it over this one. And this is, what, this, this is why I do this now. Okay, I go back to video and I scale this one down. See that? Scale it to about maybe about that size is, is fine. All right, and I uh, drag it over this way a little bit. And I don't like to leave it straight, I get a little tilt. You feel me? A little tilt, right? Boom. So then I go back to it again and I click it. I look, I'm using a MacBook, so I press Command and I drag it up uh, while I'm holding Command, right? So, what the hell? See, this is what Final Cut does when you're editing too much. It might just crash. It might Final Cut might just crash on me because I'm editing too fast. Anyways, 
I said command. I meant option. So boom, I drag it up. Then I go to the one at the bottom now, right? And I scale it up. Scale it up. Boom. Drag this down a little bit. All right. And remember what I did before? I drag. I, I went to um the color board exposure. Turn this all the way up. Now it's white, right? Then I go to color board. Drag the color board to that. Right? And then go to color. Let's see. Red. All right, there you go. Red. Boom. See, now I got it to be red. Right? And I go all the way to the top now. I go to my title, basic title, drag it over. I know to a lot of y'all this might seem like a lot, but I, I kind of got used to doing it. Yep, Final Cut might crash on me, y'all. I see it already. Once it come with that loading bar, I already see it. They're like, nah, this shit can't keep up with my edits. I usually give it time to load up and all that thing, but for tutorial's sake, I can't. I don't have time for that. So I'm going to... Right, um, what's the name of the song again? Go back to the name of the song. All right, there you go. I just copy and I usually just copy and paste it. Copy it. Go back to the title. Um, and I just paste it. There you go. So now this is a, this is a font that I use right here. I like this font. I'll scale it up so it'd be a little bit bigger. Okay. Okay. And then I drag it down like this to the bottom corner. See? All right. Then one more thing, and then I'm done with the thumbnail. This little thing I put, I like, like I put over my thumbnails. Boom. Scale this all the way up. All the way up. Boom, boom, this way, this way. Scale it all the way up, then I drag it on the bottom. Boom. Now there you go. Feel me? So I usually change the color of the letters. So I'm gonna just go change the color of the letters right now. All right, this way now it's a little easier to change the, the color. So I'll put I'll put it that green. Bring this up. I want it to be as a pop in the more look. Feel me? So now, what I do is, I go here. Boom. And save current frame. Next. Now I've just put something that stands, let's say, anything that stands out to my eye that I can remember. Uh, just put a bunch of numbers I remember. Feel me? Just export that to my page. After I'm done with that, I let everything load, the video load, I export the video, and then I upload it to YouTube. And that's how I make my YouTube reactions, guys. If you like this video and it was helpful to you, hit the subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. You feel me? That'll be very helpful. Like the video and congrats. On your new channel if you just made a new channel because of me and if I just taught you something new you know I feel good about that and I mean hopefully you do good on your channel let me see your boy upper class